Hi family, welcome to the Car Path Way of Cooking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Path Way of Cooking. I am back. I know you thought I was missing in action, but I'm back, had to take care of some matters, and all is well. How are you doing today? We are doing wonderful on the Car Path Way of Cooking. Today, I'm going to prepare for you something very brief, and it's a good uh, meal for the summertime. And what I'm going to make is macaroni salad. And I'm going to add tuna with mine. Tuna is optional. But this is the macaroni that I'm using. I already cooked it. I rinsed it off and I drained it. Drained the water from it. And I'm going to add raw eggs, bell peppers, um, an onion, tuna, and the tuna that I'm using is, it's just two five ounce cans of um, chunky white tuna, albacore tuna. And this is like the five ounce cans. And this is with water, not oil, but like I said, tuna is optional. You don't have to use it. You can use chicken if you want meat in it. Um, you can use the canned chicken or cook your chicken however you want. And this is the macaroni that I use. And this is um, one pound of Evo macaroni. And follow the directions on the box. You don't want to overcook it. Please do not overcook it. Cook it until it's al dente. That's about seven or eight minutes, exactly. And I'm going to use black pepper, seasoning salt, Sweet Relish, Miracle Whip, and some diced pimentos. And what you need to do first is put, pour my pasta in a bowl. And it's al dente. It's not overly cooked, family. It is not overly cooked. And I'm gonna add my bell peppers and onions. And this is half of a small bell pepper and a, um, half of a small onion. You don't want too much bell pepper or onion because you don't want it to take overpower, okay? You don't want the flavors to take over because after all, it's pasta salad with macaroni salad. Then we're going to add our tuna. I drain the tuna. This is, Brian or Brian Williams. This is optional. One moment. You turn it on? Okay. Well, I'm going to continue, family. And what I'm going to do next. You know my favorite, you know I love gadgets. I got my pool and chop. I love my gadgets. And what I'm going to do, oh, let me put some um, diced um, pimentos in first. That phone call was straight to me. Good. You good? Just threw me off. Maybe about a teaspoon full, even though I'm using a fork. That was about a teaspoon. You don't need much. I'm only using this for color. Okay. Let's put some relish. I like sweet relish. I 
about three tablespoons. And I'm gonna taste it near the end to see what I need to add. The black pepper. Some seasoning salt, or you can use salt and pepper. It's up to you. You know what your family likes. You're gonna make it your own. Put your spin on it, as I always say. Okay? Just put some eggs in the Whopper Chopper. It's not the Whopper Chopper, pulling chop. See, Jacob, you got me saying Whopper Chopper. I call it the Whopper Chopper. Yeah, you do. I love this. I use it all the time, family. And I know I'm using a serrated knife. That's the, <laughs> my other knives are in the dishwasher. I'm only using three boiled eggs. I don't want it to taste like egg salad, okay? What are you all cooking today? Are you eating light today? This is gonna be a light meal today for us. Actually, I'm gonna give my parents some of this salad as well. I'm not exactly sure how much Miracle Whip I need with this amount. I never measure, which if you follow my channel, you already know I don't measure. But I think I'm gonna use about half of this, and this is what, 48 ounces? So I'm gonna use half of it, what's left in here. And I taste as I go, the spoon is not good. Got the stuff all over my hands. Let me get my handy dandy. This is better. I can get the corners and everything. Make sure I get it all, family. This is much better than this spoon. Jake, you ever, um, your mom ever make this for you all? Uh -huh. Really? No, I can remember. I used to make it a long time ago. It's been a while since I made this. Amazing. I make the cheese and macaroni, but never in the macaroni salad. It's good. No, I like it. Tuna, take it to another level, family. I love it with tuna in it. You can also add celery, but I didn't buy any fresh celery. The one that I have is frozen. Cause I buy it and I cut it, chop it up and put it in the freezer and want to use all fresh vegetables for this. And it's simple, easy. Drake, you want to taste this? I can. And you can put it in the refrigerator and let it chill before serving. And plus, um, once I cook the pasta, I let it cool down completely. Let it cool completely.
Looks good. I think I need some more black pepper. Yep. Just looking at it. Yep. I can tell. Probably some more bell, not bell pepper, but pimentos. And I think I have enough uh, Miracle Whip because I want it creamy and plus as it sets overnight in the refrigerator, the pasta is going to soak up a lot of the um, Miracle Whip. And if it's too dry, if you make it and if it's too dry, before you eat it, just add a little more um, Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, whichever one you decide to use. And I want to welcome the new ones to this channel. And the, the family members that been with me and keep coming back, I do appreciate it. New ones, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead on and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. That way you'll get to see the new videos. And share the videos, family. Share the videos. And give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to let Jake taste this. What I need to add. What I need. You add that kind of salt or anything to it? My season salt? You didn't taste any salt? A little bit like bland, but it might need to sit. You know, you let it set overnight in the fridge. Yeah, but we don't want anything going. We don't want it salty. Does it taste like pasta salad? I don't want it tasting like eggs. Nope. Salad or tuna salad or... I want it to taste like pasta salad. I don't salad. taste too much of the, um... What's the... Um, the green, show the green stuff. Pickles? I don't take too much of that. Oh, oh you know, okay. we'll taste that. We'll add some more. I got a, I got a feeling about putting some cinnamon in here. No. Why not? We we'll do this one first. We we'll do cinnamon in the next one. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's find the pickle first. Mm -hmm. I want the old pot. You want to put a roll? <laughs> One for the room. Looks good. Seems like something is missing. I don't think none of this is going to get to leave the house, baby. You don't think you're going to leave the house? <laughs> I was going to get my mom. Oh. He was running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mama. <laughs> You know my mom, my family watches my video, so, hey. Let's gonna try it again. Let me know what I need. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Me do. Do I need to add anything? No. Yeah, it kind of battles out with the Miracle Whip in there. Is it creamy? Tastes creamy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, family. Well, here it is. Let me um, plate it up. Let's put it in a, a proper dish, and we'll be right back. All right, family, we are back, and this is the end result. It is creamy, and what I did, I had some paprika, and I just sprinkled some on top. Give it a try. And you can eat this along with, um, well, as a side dish if you like. Um, 
We're going to have, and I think my husband picked up some fried chicken from a restaurant. We're going to have that with this on the side, probably with some dinner rolls, or you can serve it with um, uh, Ritz crackers, saltine crackers, or, you know, whatever you like. You can make it with toast on the side, buttered toast however you like it and it's really good and it's light and it's creamy and it's gonna be even better the next day so thank you for watching the video and always remember to stay humble and kind and I have more videos coming and hope to see you next time love y'all thank you for watching